Okay, um, so this week's video is on changing your mindset. So a lot of success when it comes to a transformation um, to get yourself into that point where you've either never been there before or it's a completely new territory from what you have done successfully before, taking it to that next level um, is all about mindset. Now I think this is a huge part that is often overlooked in a transformation. Yes, the diet is right. Yes, it's got to be about the training. Um, but if you don't have the right mindset from the outset, then it is going to massively impact your ability to succeed and finish this rather than just get started and fall off. Um, so again, a couple of little things. It probably won't be as long as the habit change video that I did, um, which is again before this, um, but a few things that should hopefully help you. Now, uh, what you've got is I'm a big believer in this um, and it is literally what you think you become. Um, to give you some examples, some people might think it's hokey pokey, but when you are, when you wake up, say for example, if you hit a load of negatives and a load of stressful situations before you even get to work, so say for example, um, your alarm goes off, it wakes you up and it startles you because you're not in a good sleep cycle. Um, that's a negative start if it wasn't quite the best morning, you know, like the old saying of, did you get out of bed the wrong side of the bed? Um, then let's say you snooze it, and again, you have that alarm go off and it pushes your stress levels up again. Let's say you, I don't know, you drop your breakfast or your breakfast didn't go the way it wanted, or you get stuck in traffic or someone cuts you up, and then all these things add up that end up, that you end up being almost negative and then your approach to everything is coming from your own mindset, I feel, that, and I get it a lot, where I could get so angry and I'd almost be like, oh, I, it's, I always get bad traffic or, oh, always some idiot that will cut me up, blah, blah, blah. And it's things like this that tend to just get it to the point where you're almost attracting what you're actually putting out. Again, uh, it's a big thing about the law of attraction. I am a bigger believer in it. Um, whether or not you think it's hokey pokey, but it is a big part of mindset. So if you not notice that if there's someone in the office that is always um, negative, always putting themselves down or noting that something happens to them regularly and said thing that they often say happens to them regularly, funnily enough, that is really the law of attraction, whether you want to believe it or not. Um, this mindset is coming directly from that person. Now, when I have the same sort of thing, when I, like, let's say, for example, since opening the gym, if I just say, oh, we're having such a bad month, oh, I'm so stressed, oh, this, that, and the other, and I have a bad month, and then the next time I switch it around and have more of a positive mindset, let's say I have a couple of joiners, um, and then literally that week goes from positive to positive because I'm focusing on my positives. So then I'm attracting more positive things because I'm more positive with my own time and my own habits and what I'm doing, and then that is it making me do the right things to then you know, achieve what I need to achieve, which would be to get, for example, more members in. Whereas I could be missing opportunities or missing, um, you know, focused parts of my day where I'm being productive to generate more members um, because I'm in a different mood compared to if I was negative, focusing on the fact that if we didn't have it. So again, that law of attraction is primarily come from my attitude and my mindset as to what I do. So um, you are very much what you think you become. Now, um, to change your mindset, which is what you would need to do to get a successful transformation, will therefore result in changing your behaviours. So again, that's kind of partially covers what I've just said in, in the previous couple of minutes. Again, if you had a positive mindset that you can achieve whatever physique you really set out to get in a transformation, then your behaviours towards that goal is going to change because you're positively thinking that you can achieve that. So then if your behaviours change towards getting it, then that's gonna ultimately impact the end result. So again, if before signing up to this, your theory was, oh, I can never lose weight, because um, I can never stick to my diet, you've already shot yourself in the foot and already started off, off of a bad foot. Um, and if you're telling yourself you can't, then all you're doing is giving yourself that sort of you know, weak-minded mindset that you can't. At the end of the day, you can do literally anything you put your mind to, and when the motivation is right and everything aligns properly, then you will change your behaviours to suit that goal, be it from your own efforts or from someone that's obviously guiding you on that approach with you know tips and coaching to get you to where you need to be. Um, so if you're changing your behaviours to make sure you get to 
um, that more that helps alongside that positive mindset and all these little changes add up to the big changes that over time then gets you to the transformation then what you've done is you have effectively changed your mindset to change your behavior to succeed so there's a few things that you can focus on when it comes to changing your mindset specifically so again if you go out of the airy fairy talk of the, all of that which some of you may look at that and think that then you can actually break it down into solid, measurable actions that can change your mindset for a positive to get that transformation. So again, self-trust is one of those things that, that's the airy-fairy bit, a bit like that. You have to trust in yourself that you can actually do it. Um, you know, if you believe, then you can achieve. It's so cheesy, but it is so true. Um, if you self-doubt, then you're not gonna get there. You, you're, you're already stopping yourself from achieving it. But you have to trust that technically, if you are given the tools to do it, you could do it. It's like man starting fire. Um, if you don't know how to start a fire, doesn't mean to say that you can't if you don't learn um, or if you don't have the tools to do so. So self-trust is once you're given the tools and the learning to do so, there is no reason why you cannot do it. So if you have the right support mechanisms and you have your own self-trust, then again, you will make sure you succeed. Goal setting, which is what we have done, so you need to set goals to achieve anything. Has to be realistic and time constraint. So um, goal setting comes into what's called SMART. Um, so it has to be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and time. Um, so again, our specific goal um, is in this is to get you to obviously your transformation to a photo shoot condition. Okay. Um, aside from that, if you're not going for photo shoot condition, then what you can do yourself is actually sit down um, and actually work out what is measurable and what is attainable for you in 12 weeks. So again, a typical um, you know, weight loss getting in shape goal would be one to two pounds a week if you were doing it realistically. This can give you an idea that if you have been a weight before or a shape before, then again, you can attain that because it's realistic because your body has been there. Um, the um, attainable is obviously saying that you, you're something that wouldn't be attainable, for example, um, and no amount of mindset change could change it, is if you were five foot two and you're saying, I want to be six foot two, it's not really realistic or attainable because that's physically impossible. But to lose weight and change your shape is perfectly attainable. Um, realistic, again, going through that. Um, and then time, you've got a time frame on it, so it actually gives you that sense of purpose to get there. Because again, if you don't have that time constraint on it, it's, and it's very open, it's very easy just to slack on it or not just think, oh, I don't really need to do that today because I've got time or you don't have a time constraint on it. Patience, so patience is a big thing that make people miss out on transformations. So you might get big losses at one week, you might get big changes one week, and then the second week or, the, or another week you may not get as much. Um, everyone wants everything yesterday, especially with social media, especially with f smartphones, etc. nowadays, but patience is a big factor when it comes to transformation because it's the consistency and the effort and the patience in seeing what that consistency in the day-to-day -day that adds up that ends up getting you to the point where you get to that transformation. Whereas if you're impatient and you try and rush things or you do things, you know, overcook it, from a successful transformation point of view, this is just the same. So where we've talked about if I program you to do three sessions and you think five sessions is gonna do you better, it doesn't necessarily mean that more is better. You know, sometimes patience is key and trust in the process is what you really need to do and trust in yourself that if you put hard grafting in the amount that you do, you don't need to be in the gym 24 hours a day to get a successful transformation. You could be in there three hours a week and that's it, as long as everything else is managed in the right way. And the focus of it, sorry, uh, courage. So what we tend to find is the psychological aspect of transformations is sometimes down to fear. Um, so people don't achieve what they want to achieve is because of fear, more um, sometimes more than anything. The fear of rejection against their normal circles of friends, um, fear of, of you know failing or not achieving it. Um, but the difference is if you don't face a fear and try, then you'll never know if you could do it. So having that courage to you know fight your fear um, of failure or going against obviously what the norm would be with you in your group, it's having that belief and you know self-empowerment to just do what makes you happy and if doing a transformation to this extent is, go is going to be what genuinely makes you happy then there is no reason why you shouldn't go for that and then if your friends and your circles aren't supportive of that then are they really then your real friends if they can't support what makes you happy because friends should always you know and family should always support what makes you happy 
Um, so again, the courage to go against what could be the grain of what you're used to and go completely out of your comfort zone into something that you haven't done before, that is courage and facing a fear and then you need to have that to get a successful change in your mindset, so successful change and a transformation. Focus, I kind of dipped on it. Again, if you don't have focus to do this um, and you have the slightest distraction or anything that's going to stop you from getting there, that's going to be a big issue when it comes to getting there. So you need to be focused on the goal and, you know, even if it's a, a day goal, a week goal or whether it's the 12-week goal, again, you need to have that focus to know exactly what you need to do um, with direction from someone else. Then all you've got to do is be focused on the plan and stick to it. Um, positivity, again, that comes back to what some people could argue is hokey pokey, but it's very much not. Um, if you're not positive and you you know, you don't believe you're going to do it, then you're not going to do it. But if you're positive in the sense that every little win that you get is a positive win and you add up those positive wins, positive wins over time add up to a regular pattern and a regular pattern makes you change your lifestyle to become whatever you want to become. Um, so positivity is a huge part. Now learning is the final part of this and this is why I'm doing a lot of these videos why I'm doing the Q&As, why I'm doing it where you can message me any question, it's always better to find someone that knows that much more about you, about a subject that you, are, you, are, you want to be better at. So at the end of the day, if you want a successful transformation, you should be literally utilising as much as you can to learn from me while you can and while you have me, because at the end of the day, I've done it too many times now to the point where you, if you learn the basics and you learn it for yourself and you understand why you're doing things then you're going to be more successful because you understand the process not just blindly following a plan blindly just doing what you're told this will still yield results but you'll be more successful and especially to keep that success if you've actually learned as to how we got there okay um, now so to how to really change your mindset in a, a little bit more detail then so to have a positive mindset for a positive change to obviously get a successful transformation, um, there's various things that you need to change within your mindset and external factors that can affect that, which would then change your mindset to get there. Uh, and these are some of them. Um, and these would just be ones that I would recommend, and again, generally others would recommend as well, to just ensure that your change in mindset helps to get you there. Now, surrounding yourself with others um, that are on either the same path as you or that align with your goals better. Um, now, obviously I have a lot of friends that differ to me, um, but the, over the years having a lot of friends or even acquaintances, um, I will happily give anyone the time of day. Um, if they want to chat to me in any normal capacity, I'd happily chat to anyone. But the vast majority of people struggle to talk to me, generally unless they have a degree of um, interest in fitness. Now, I don't need to talk about fitness, but it is one of obviously my hobbies, it's my life. Um, and so when you find people that are mass, you know, drastically the opposite end of that and that have almost like a hatred or a dislike to exercise and have no interest, you find that your commonality between you as friends tends to you know, peter out a little bit and you'll often find that you'll drift away. Um, and, but then having people that enjoy what you enjoy and want to be where you want to be, it will only help you get there. Now again, for a lot of you, this could be very early days. Um, but if you really in, you know, enjoy this process and enjoy the results from it, then what you will end up finding is that sometimes you know, it's getting striking that balance because you don't want to be, complete, you know, be a complete arsehole and you know, fob off all your mates. And again, I still enjoy being around my mates that insist that they need to have a drink every weekend. But it just means that I may not be their preference to see every weekend. Um, but it's accepting that they can still be your friends, but you just might not be as close as you thought you were. Um, because it doesn't align with where you are in your life. Um, so surrounding yourself with others is a big factor that helps to actually achieve a different mindset, especially for this. Um, having a clear vision, so you need that clear vision and understanding of where you're going. Um, so you need to be able to envision what you're actually going to become. So, you know, being able to see if you've been to a similar shape before, um, envisioning it that little step further, um, it's a lot of, you know, you know, in your head a little bit and um, you've got to be within your head to the point where you're you can see yourself being there because if you can't even see yourself being there then it's going to be harder to get there and um, set goals we've already gone over so setting your goals is a massive part of changing your mindset for, to, for the positive to get to where you want to be and um, journaling or write down your goals so writing down your goals makes them physically so they are actually a physical goal they are there so it's not just a thought it's not just an idea writing it down makes it official in my eyes um, and many others 
that again if you've written it down and you've put a time on it again you've done smart goal setting um, it's almost out there so when it's out there it's achievable it's it's on and it's you know it's go time sort of thing so it's one of those sort of things that you know journaling is another aspect that if you're journaling your day um, or journaling your week or journaling your life again people can do it in some capacity by putting it on social media but actually getting a physical paper and pen and really thinking about what you've done what you've achieved and what's good um, and this can really help in changing your mindset for a positive way um, to change everything to get a successful transformation. Um, learning from others' successes. successes. So again, speaking to people that have done it before um, or people that have coached people that have done it before, aside from that is learning from others. So again, if it really interests you to be in this shape that you want to be in, then having a little dig around, having a look at inspiration from others, learn from their successes. How do they get there? You know, What affected them getting there and how can that help you understand what could change, you know, you know, something that could pop up for you to make you more successful. If that changes your mindsets to the point that you know that they achieved it and they had the same hardships as you, then it's only going to make your mindset in a better place than, you know, not knowing what these other people have gone through when they could have been in the exact same situation. You know, I have three kids, I have a wife, I have businesses, um, I've still managed to achieve it. You'll have your own things that you have to work through. So it's understanding how do these, you know, how does someone else get there, and how can that help you with obviously getting to where you need to be. So then that'll only help your mindset be positive towards achieving this. Avoiding negativity. Um, I'm a I'm a big again fan of this. I never like speaking bad of anyone. I don't think it's a good thing to do. It's um, I forget what the saying is. There is one that sort of small minds discuss people, you know, good good minds discuss ideas or something like that. Um, and I'm a, and I, again, I, I truly believe the same, you know, wasting your time small talking and bitching about someone else. Um, and if some other people around you do exactly the same, that isn't going to align you towards a positive um, mindset that's going to help you do anything in life, be it a transformation, um, be it being a better version of yourself, being a better, you know, mum or dad, or being a just general better person in life. Negativity isn't needed. Um, it's just generally comes down to normally jealousy, um, or just small mindedness and again it's a waste of time and energy and, and that time and energy is taken out of your day and it could be making you less productive and less aligned towards getting a better more positive mindset towards your goal. Um, gratitude, again gratitude is such a great thing because if you actually are grateful for what is good in your life and um, then it can only help you be more positive in your overall mindset because if you focus on what's great in your life, again, everyone has hard problems, everyone has you know bad things, but it, but there's always going to be someone that has it worse than you. And being grateful for what you have, um, I always do this before I go to bed. Um, well, when I remember, sometimes I'm so tired I forget, but I do do it a lot, and um, to the point where um, I will always review my day, always be you know grateful for what I got, and the biggest things that I'll always be grateful for is food in my belly. Um, a roof over my head and a, and a beating heart at the end of the day, they're my top three. Um, there's a lot of people that, you know, at the very same moment that you're thinking of that gratitude be, could be having something go completely wrong. Um, so I always think I'm always grateful for anything that's positive in my life. Um, and then, yeah, you've got uh, reflection. So reflection comes down to, um, it can either be in the morning or the same time as the, as the gratitude at night. Uh, but if you reflect on your day, what could be done better, what was good, um, or even in the morning if you do it, if you're reflecting on the day before and you're planning for the day ahead, again, it's going to give you a much more positive mindset to make the change and be in a better position. Now, a lot of this comes down to really, it all comes in from within you. So all these are just basic points that if you factor these into your lifestyle, then you can make a positive mindset shift. And if you have a positive mindset shift, then you're going to succeed um, and it's going to be a likely um, you know, long-term thing rather than just a short-term fad where you just followed my plans and that's it. If you change your mindset for the positive, gratitude, um, goal setting, more aware of others, surround yourself with the right people, less negativity, um, all of this will contribute to you being a better person overall and whatever you achieve in this 12 weeks for you to carry on because not only have you learned it all, um, again, with these videos, should make sure that it stays on after the 12 weeks. Um, so hopefully, even if a small element of that um, you know, mindset shift um, video has helped, there could be the smallest bit in there that helps you, um, or the whole lot. But at the end of the day, 
whatever helps you get to that positive mindset is the key and change in that mindset to knowing that you can succeed and do whatever you want to do um, and in 12 weeks especially based on my experience you can achieve a lot in 12 weeks so never forget that cool cheers <laughs>